Let's talk a little bit about the US customary units of weight. So the one that's most typically used is the pound, especially for things at kind of a human scale. And to understand what a pound is, most playing balls are roughly about a pound. So for example, a soccer ball, my best attempt to draw a soccer ball. So let's say that this is a soccer ball right over here, and I'm not, and then of course it has some type of a pattern on it. So you could imagine a soccer ball is about is about a pound, so it's roughly one pound. And a pound will often have be shorthanded with this LB period right over here, so it's about a pound. A football, an American football, is also a little under, a little under a pound, but we could say it is about a pound, just so we get a sense of what a pound, just so we get a sense of what a pound actually represents. Now, if you want to go to scales smaller than a pound, you would think about using the ounce you would think about using the ounce. And the relation between the ounce and the pound when we're thinking, when we're thinking about weight is that one pound, let me write this, one pound, one pound is equal to 16 ounces. Is equal to 16 ounces. Or another way of thinking is that, is it, thinking about it, is that a one ounce is equal to 1 16th of a pound. And if you want to visualize things that weigh about an ounce, you could imagine a small box of matches weigh about an ounce. So a small box of matches might weigh about an ounce. Maybe a, a small AA battery would, a, would weigh about an ounce. But that gives you a sense of it. So if you were to take 16 of these together, they would be all, they would be about the weight of a soccer ball. 16 of these things together, they would be about they would be about the weight of a soccer ball or a football. Now, if we want to think about weights that are larger than a pound, then we would go to the ton. We would go to the ton. And a ton is equal to one ton is equal to 2000 2,000 pounds. And you have to be a little bit careful with the ton. We're talking about the US customary units, and this is where we're talking about 2,000 pounds. But when we're talking on a more international level, this is sometimes called the short ton. There's also a long ton. There's also the metric ton. But here we're talking about US customary units, which is the short ton. So one ton is 2,000 pounds. And to get a sense of something that weighs 2,000 pounds, or, or to get a, a sense of what 2,000 pounds is like, or what might, what might be measured in tons, a car is a good example. Your average mid-sized sedan, your average mid-sized sedan would weigh about a little under to a little over 2 tons. So a little under to a little over to a little over 4,000 pounds. If we're talking about a, a small van or minivans or vans or, or trucks, we're thinking we're going to, it's going to be larger than two tons. And if you think about smaller cars, you're thinking it's going to be probably a, around 3,000 pounds. It's going to be less than two tons. So a car, a car is a car is going to be approximately two two tons. So hopefully that gives you a sense of how, of of what units you'd use in the U.S. customary system for different scales of weights.